Thank you, Bison, for that wonderful opening performance. Now we're in the mood for a play. Konnichiwa, Yorokoso, welcome to the 2014 presentation of Nothing is Impossible, a Samurai Love Story. My name is Mike Madsen. I'm an Associate Dean for the Division of Health and Sciences here at Pikes Peak Community College. And it's my pleasure to be your narrator for this 15th production of Nothing is Impossible. Three years ago, because of the tsunami disaster in Japan, Rieko and her students focused, rather than on this play, on disaster relief for the people who were affected. These efforts in 2011 generated over $3,000, which was donated through the Japan American Society to the Red Cross. For all of those who were involved in the fundraising, thank you. This year, though, the play is back. It is dedicated to the community, staff, and students. And to them, we would like to say thank you as well. Without your help and participation, we couldn't have done this for the 15th time. Many from the local Japanese-American community, as always, have helped behind the scenes with this production. And if you're in the know, on this production, you may realize that Rieko was considering not doing this one anymore in favor of a new script that she's been working on for quite some time. But she chose instead to keep this familiar tradition to boost the spirits of the students and the community. And that's exactly what this presentation has done. Thousands of students have been affected and encouraged by involvement in this special production. In fact, at least 10 of those former students are currently involved in all areas across Japan. They're teaching English, they're working in city offices, they're modeling, they're even getting married to Japanese people. They get extra credit for that. <laughs> During these 15 years, students have been encouraged by the play. They've broadened their horizons, they've expanded beyond their comfort zones, and some of the parents of these students have told Rieko, these students have been motivated by the play. They have been able to do things they never imagined. Rieko, as an instructor, has attempted to pull talent from even the most discouraged of students and she's given all of the hope and courage that she has. It's paid off over the years. Many people in the community through this production and the efforts of Rieko have learned more about the Japanese culture, the language, the food, the costumes. We hope this tradition will continue in the future. So today, you will see a Japanese play written by Rieko McAdams entitled Never Give Up, Nothing is Impossible, a Samurai Love Story. It's presented by students of all of the Japanese classes. Now these are not students who major in theater, just regular students who take Japanese classes. They are working in, in conjunction with students from UCCS, and all of these students are taught by Professor McAdams. They've made time to practice this during spring break, after classes, on the weekends. This is above and beyond they have gone to bring this to you. Now I'd also like to take a moment to introduce our sponsors and special guests. When I announce you, would you please stand and wave for just a moment so we can acknowledge you. We have the, from student government, it's President Mark Giles. Mark? Mark is here in spirit. From the University of Colorado at Colorado Springs Division of Languages and Culture, the chair of that, also in spirit, let's let them know. Here are some individuals I know are here because even though they try to be unobtrusive, they're such a force here at Pikes Peak Community College. We know when they're here. From the Division of Communications, Humanities, and Technical Studies, the Dean of that division, Dr. Fran Hetrick. Fran, in the back and associate deans of that division that work with Fran, Maria Langley and Sharon Hoke. <laughs> I 
We also have a special guest, Mr. Kimura Shigeo from the Japan American Society of Colorado. Mr. Shigeo has made the effort to come down from Denver and we appreciate you being here today. And our special guest, our guest of honor, Lieutenant Governor for the State of Colorado, Joseph A. Garcia. You will always have a home here. Now before we begin, I hope Rieko gave you a heads up on this, but I'm supposed to ask you to share a few thoughts here from the podium before we st <laughs> This would be typical. We're going to see how good an ad libber our Lieutenant Governor is, Mr. Garcia. who was also remembering there is no direct way to the stage. <laughs> thank you, Mike. Welcome. Thank you, Mike, and thank you all for being here. Uh, I see so many familiar faces. You know, this was, uh, I, I used to work here, of course, at Pikes Peak Community College a number of years ago. It's always going to be a very special place to me. Rieko is always going to be a very sp special person to me. And I have seen this play several times in the past. I'm really looking forward to seeing it again today. And, and frankly, it helped me. Only two weeks ago, I had the opportunity to visit Tokyo as part of a trade mission. It's the first time I'd been there. And I was really grateful for the couple words of uh, Japanese that I learned from Rieko about 10 years ago. Um, it's amazing to me how well our students do in this play. Japanese, of course, is not an easy language for most Westerners. But it is so important. And it is uh, reassuring to me, gratifying to me, really, to see how many young people, and not so young people, who attend Pikes Peak Community College want to extend their uh, love of languages, their love of learning, uh, to be able to learn about new cultures, and to travel, and to explore. And that's what education is really all about. There are so many wonderful people who both work here at Pikes Peak, who go to school here at Pikes Peak, and Pikes Peak is such an important, important institution in this community. So I'm proud to be connected with it. I'm proud to be able to be here to watch Rieko's final performance. So thank you. Thank you very much. Now a little background as we get into the play. This play portrays a samurai lifestyle typical of Japan during the mid-19th century. It's conducted entirely in the Japanese language, a first in the state of Colorado. I'll be your host and narrator throughout the presentation, and we'll explain each scene as the play progresses. This is the sixth year that we have also provided subtitles in English. You're welcome. <laughs> Beginning in the 19th century, Japan was ruled by the powerful Tokugawa family. This Tokugawa dynasty controlled the feudal system and allowed it to grow. Vast territories were held by the reigning family and its supporters. To prevent the buildup of local power by families in other regions, the Tokugawa shogun, or warrior leaders, did not allow their samurai to travel from territory to territory, and they did not allow unauthorized marriages between these families or between social classes. There were three distinct classes in the dominant feudal system. The upper class, that was royalty and lords, the middle class, to which the samurai belonged, and of course the masses of the lower class, the peasantry. The traditions of the samurai warriors worked their way into Japanese culture, much as the cowboy ideal has become a part of American thought. Samurai were skilled horsemen, archers, and swordsmen who lived by a code that emphasized courage, honor, and loyalty to their leader. Trained to be indifferent to physical hardship and even death, samurai were expected to commit ritual suicide if their reputation was damaged. In 1856, the year in which our story takes place, the shogun system is still dominant in Japan. And as our play begins, Lord Okuda has four beautiful daughters, the youngest of whom he has promised in marriage to Lord Ito, the son of a local official. 
she does not love this man and does not want to marry him. In the meantime, the princess and her nanny have decided to attend a local flower show. It's near the palace where the princess lives. A samurai attending the festival encounters the princess, and upon seeing her beauty, he is smitten. Their eyes meet. It's love at first sight. But the princess is protected by her nanny, and he cannot approach her to talk to her in order to find out where she lives. Ladies and gentlemen, nothing is impossible. Sakura, Sakura. ま、素敵な花見日和。今日は本当にいいお天気ですね。花見に最高です。うばよ。さあ、早く行きましょう。はいはい。今行きますよ。まあ、3月というのに桜が満開ですね。年に一度の桜祭り楽しみましょう。